66 million years ago. That means the end of Mesozoic era, an asteroid slams into Earth. The cosmic monster falling towards the Earth was having almost the size of Mount Everest. According to the scientists, its diameter lies between 11 to 80 kilometers and the velocity in which the asteroid hit towards the Earth was very high too. It extends not only to the surface of the Earth but many kilometers upwards too. The top portion of the asteroid was stretched higher than the commercial planes flying through the sky. We know the consequences of such a catastrophe but the impact happened was much bigger than what we can imagine. It was the time when the dinosaurs were ruling the world. They were the dominant species during the Mesozoic era. They were the presence of human beings at that time but they were not as big as they are today. They were the ancestors of man. Here we can see a picture of a rat. The human species of that time was only having the size of this rat. And this is the main reason why man was able to survive the great asteroid impact. The huge asteroid was hit in the Gulf of Mexico region. The impact penetrates Earth's crest to a depth of several miles, gauging a crater more than 185 kilometers. This event made way for a chain of global catastrophes that destroyed 80% of life on Earth, including the giant dinosaurs, large trees and many other species. So, after the asteroid impact, what happened to our Earth? The Earth changed drastically. If we make a time travel from this age to that age, then we will be astonished. We won't believe that this is our Earth or we feel that we are witnessing a planet that we haven't seen. After the asteroid hit came the flood. It was a big tsunami. Scientists have different opinions about the height of this tsunami. A group of scientists have the opinion that the waves were having almost 100 meters of height. Another group says that the height was more than 300 meters. That means the waves were having the height of the Great Eiffel Tower. But there are some other opinions that the impact of that phenomenal tsunami is almost one and a half kilometers in height. That is, the tsunami had a height of five Eiffel Towers put together. We may not be able to know the exact height of the wave, but one thing is sure that those tsunami waves lasted almost 10 hours. The reason behind such a long tsunami is a chain reaction happened in that place. The chain reaction goes like this. After the asteroid hit, there happened an earthquake with almost 12 on the Richter scale. This earthquake is considered as very powerful than anything ever measured or experienced by humans. This earthquake made way for huge landslides and created craters. Because of the landslide, large tsunamis came to the earth. As an impact of this tsunami, again landslides occurred everywhere and those landslides again gave way to bigger tsunamis. Like a chain reaction, this continued and it became a global climatic catastrophe. There was something more dangerous than tsunamis and earthquakes. This came in the form of fire. A large explosion happened in that place and fire started to burn everything. The explosion almost covered 1500 kilometers around the place where the asteroid fell. The radiant energy released from this explosion have heated the surface to boiling temperatures for some time. This was more than enough to kill many animals, plants and trees on the surface of Earth. Earth became a world on fire. Those creatures living in the underground survived. It was not just a survival, in fact they were having a good time. Because they got plenty of food in the form of big dead species. Underground burrows and aquatic environments protected small mammals from this disaster. Those beings stayed in the underground for a long time. Usually, when natural disasters happen, the first impact happens towards small creatures. But this time, the first to get affected by this great explosion was the great species that ruled the earth. Especially the big dinosaur species Diplodocus. They were the first to get destroyed. Here we were discussing about the calamities happened in an area of 1500 kilometers around the place where the asteroid fell. But that doesn't mean that the life outside this parameter survived. Their life was also in great danger. 
rocks and dust particles from the asteroid falling area started to rise high up into the atmosphere. Almost 40 minutes these particles travelled through the atmosphere. And when these particles reached a specific spot, they started to fall down towards the earth in high speed. Geologists have collected samples of this big blast from many areas. And according to them, it was one of the biggest explosions the world has ever witnessed. The explosion released an energy equivalent of 2 crore ton TNT. The whole earth was subjected to this great explosion. And because of this, the temperature level of earth started to increase. Those creatures who survived the great tsunami and earthquake surrendered in front of this burning heat. Many species got destroyed in this thermal explosion. One estimation is that those beings weighed more than 25 kilograms were all wiped out of the earth in this heat radiation. But in this estimation, we can't include marine animals. Also, it doesn't mean that they all survived. Because of severe acid rain, the plants inside the seawater got destroyed. So the fishes who ate these plants also died. But in comparing with the land, the sea creatures survived more. All these explosions created a dangerous shield around the Earth's atmosphere. A covering that includes dust particles, gas particles, etc. This layer blocked the sunlight coming to Earth and the resulting darkness lasted for many days. This led to some deadly chain of events. Without the sun, all the plants died. Without the plants, all the herbivores died. The carnivores who feasted on the herbivores also died. At this time, the life underwater too became miserable. A lot of marine beings were dead. Turtles and some species of crocodiles was able to survive this disastrous time. Life was almost impossible on Earth, but at this time too, some species survived. The single cell foraminifera is such a species. This organism was there at the spot of this asteroid hit. Still, it survived. Those species weighed less than 600 grams were the only survivors of this great explosion. And man was one of them because the species of man was only having the size of a rat. The big trees, forest, giant animals all got destroyed and what left was some small species. After one lakh years from then, great changes took place. There were large forests and the small organisms started to evolve into larger ones. At this time, mammals also started to evolve from these small organisms. The presence of palm trees everywhere was another speciality of this time. For this reason, the age is called as Palm Era. After 2 lakh years, the number of living things in Earth started to increase rapidly. There we can find the presence of organisms weighing more than 25 kilograms. Plants and animals came back much faster than thought. After 7 lakh years, pea and beans started to grow in Earth. This rich meals boosted mammalian size. Mammals topped 50 kilograms, a hundredfold increase over those that survived the asteroid. The forest also recovered and came much stronger. Now, Earth has become a better place to live. As the years passed, the land began to improve. More and more living things began to appear on Earth. The pre-existing small organisms evolved into larger and stronger ones. It is the asteroid impact that played a major role in the evolution of man and shaping the Earth what we are seeing now. If there had been no asteroid fall, then man would have evolved into some other species. Otherwise, the dinosaurs would have evolved into some other large creatures and the Earth would have become a place of these giants. When you hear about the natural calamities and catastrophes happening on Earth or the tragedies that are yet to happen, always remember, our ancestors survived even worse catastrophic situations and that is the reason why we are here now. So it is because of such a great explosion, the powerful human beings came into Earth. So if great disasters happen, it means it will lead way for the arrival of new species. 
and those species will be more powerful than man every end is just the beginning of something want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries and sensational discoveries then subscribe to bright care light english and never miss any of our videos in the future remember to give our posters a thumbs up to show us that we keep you engaged with our content